connections. Good morning! I am early. I am. I'm on location. I'm here in Charlotte, but I wanted to jump on for the energy focus of the week. How's everybody doing after that huge eclipse and full moon energy? How is everybody doing? Let me know how you're doing. Up, oh, plane. That's what happens when you're on location. You go with the flow. So how's everybody doing? All right, very intense energy this week, very intense. We're still in that Aquarius full moon energy. We'll be coming into Pisces soon. Lots going on. And then of course the Mercury retrograde. And we're so close to Mars. Okay, what does all this mean? Come on in and join me. I'm only gonna be on for a few minutes today. I'm gonna pick the cards. I haven't even chosen them yet. I'm on location. I'm at a biz club retreat. Really intense, really intense work we're doing, planning, reviewing, renewing. And that's actually the focus of this week. All right, it's actually the focus of what we want to start doing and working with is renewing and reviewing our work, slowing down, really important to slow down and just to kind of finish up loose ends. It's a great time to clean up. All right, we're halfway through the summer. Renew your summer. What's going on? What have you done? You know, look at it and see and clean up your work. That's the best thing that you can do right now as we really open up to this week all right we're all coming out of that full moon energy the moon was beautiful saw it up here in charlotte maybe you saw it where you were too and if you didn't that pull of energy is still around for you as well all right so how can that help you this week that's what we're going to look at what can you do to best focus your energy to help you really move forward all right it's a hard week in terms of just really getting into that energy all right most of us want to keep going and going and going and going but really right now the universe and the cosmos is really offering us the opportunity to slow down to review and renew our work to really go back and refocus what it is you're doing and that's what we're going to see especially as we come out of it all right we'll move into a little pisces energy this week which gets us into that ability to go deeper within ourselves the ability to really open up to your own intuitive ability what are you thinking what are you doing what's on the inside and that's a lot of the energy you're going to be feeling as you open up to this week all right what is going on inside what is it that you need to shift all right, we're coming to the end of July. Believe it or not, right? Time just keeps moving on. Hey, Allie, we're coming to the end of July. So it really is important that you can find a way, chill, slow down, review your work, really work with the cosmos instead of fighting it. And that's really what I'm noticing as we move into this week. All right, that Pisces energy is gonna be easy to help us just kinda, I think, chill, Go into the intuitive aspects of who you are. Open up to that energy, all right? We're always so out there. Pull the energy in. That's gonna be kind of a great way to really kind of get into that energy for you this week, all right? So thanks for joining me this morning. Let me know how you're feeling. Did you see the moon? Could you tell it was coming up? Was it cloudy in your area? What did you notice? All right, we, we really charged up some great energy at the Reiki Circle. And so if you had crystals, it was a great time to put it out there. You could still do that today. It's not too late. Put your intentions out. Bring it from the heart. You wanna open up from the heart and put that energy out there for you. All right, and that's a really good thing to think about all week. All right, get out of here. All right, that's where we're gonna have a lot of that communication era. You're just gonna be thinking too much, thinking too much, and that's with that Mars energy, you can overreact as well. All right, I got a little emotional energy there, yes. All right, so what you can do for that emotional energy is release it out of the body. All right, one of the things I teach in my Empowered Spirit program is how do we release that out of the body? How do you notice when you've taken in too much energy that's not yours, that's the hardest part. When it's yours, you can kind of get into it. When you've taken in everybody else's, it's like, ah, whose energy is this? Why can't I get out of it? And that's what you want to release. So we use a little tool, the grounding tool, and we'll just work with that today in our meditation, all right, of really releasing that excess emotional energy. Energy follows intention. When you intend for it to release, it's gonna help get out of your body. We're holding on to everybody else's body, and we're holding on to, thanks Brad, <laughs> when we're holding on to everybody else's emotional energy, it becomes really hard for us to process our own. All right, so the meditation today, we're just gonna take a few moments to center our energy so that you can understand this to help you move through the week because I think everybody's feeling that emotional energy, taking in the excess energy, taking in too much stuff. All right, so let's just take a moment and then we're gonna look at the cards. I've got the wild unknown, always love these cards. So if you can, just for a moment, take a deep inhale. Come on, Brad, join me, take a deep inhale. 
And as you exhale, just exhale out all that excess energy. Whatever is not yours, let it go. And you don't even have to know what it is, just whatever it is. Take a deep inhale and bring up fresh prana, fresh chi from the universe. Bring it up. And as you exhale, send it back down. And maybe take a moment and just say, whoever's energy it is, maybe you know. And send it out. Send it back to them. Release it out of your body. Inhaling. And begin to feel yourself aligned. Call in your higher spirit. Call in that energy. Align the spiritual body with the physical body. Feel yourself grounding into Mother Earth. The best thing you can do all week is ground this energy. Just by this. Just by this technique right here. Inhaling. And as you exhale, pull the energy in. Pull in that higher guidance. Feel it right on top of the crown chakra. Right up here. And exhale. Send it all the way back down. Deep into the earth. Feel that calming coming in. Inhaling. And exhale. And again, as you exhale, just feel it releasing off the body. Excess energy. Friends, colleagues, families. Let it all go. All that excess energy. For me, it's all the energy I've taken in all weekend. Just let it go. All that excess energy. Emotional energy. Let it go. Come back into the center. And just take a moment. And honor where you are in the universe right now. Here we are in the summer. Passions and fires and desires. Honor that full moon that came up last night. Honor the cosmos. We keep spinning and spinning, right? Honor that energy. It keeps us going. Just take a moment and feel that energy coming in for you. Being very present. And we just take a moment. Honor the south, the west, the north, and the east. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Feel yourself calming, feel yourself centering down, opening up to your intentions for this week, still allowing that full moon energy to guide you as you go through. Bring in the awareness back, take a deep inhale, feel yourself centering your energy. So that is a two minute exercise you can do all through this week to help you ground the energy and release yourself of that emotional energy. All right, I'm gonna draw some cards. All right, first a universal card for all of us. Let's see what the wild unknown has to say. All right, it's the Six of Cups, which is all about emotional energy. All right, and this is all about connecting with the roots. Perfect card for right now. Connect down deep into the earth. Lots of times they talk about like, go back to your family roots, go back to that emotional energy, which is in alignment with, you know, the retrograde energy. But I like to look at this card right now is as tall as you're standing, Dig those deeps deep into the earth. Feel that connection. That is going to help you ground that emotional energy. All right, just like we were doing. Beautiful card. Send it down. Imagine that emotional energy. And maybe you know whose energy you've taken on. All right, maybe it's a spouse. Maybe it's a friend. And just intend. Say, send back that energy. Back to the universe. Energy can't be destroyed. We're only going to transform it. Right? So we want to transform it out of the body. So this is a beautiful card for all of us to remember all week. It's perfect alignment for what we were just saying. Ground your energy, send it deep into the earth, all right? Beautiful card for all of us, all right? All right, Cat Monster, been following you too. Love that card too, right? Really good. All right, so if you picked card one, ways that you can help to do this, all right? The Father, the Father of Swords, all right? And it was reversed, all right? So the Father of Swords is one who's very sharp, all right? And it's sword, so it's of the mind, all right? So it's reversed, so don't get caught in the mind. We just said this. Don't allow yourself to get caught in the mind, all right? When you find yourself in chaos and all, remember, ah, oh, I have to get out of the mind because this is not a useful energy for us this week. Not at all. All right, I know we need our mind to think and all that stuff, but during this week of retrograde and all, really best not to get caught in the mind. Release that energy, all right? It's okay to be sharp, right? But we don't want to get caught into the churning of the mind, and that's kind of what that, that energy represents. All right, the second card is a healing card. It's a five of hearts, uh, five of... Um, pentacles but it is a little bit of a healing so this is a great time to renew in yourself what is it what is that connection with the earth that you can heal a little bit more see it looks like a little blood dripping off the rose all right so go back to the earth all right and this is a grounding technique as well go back to the earth what inside of you can you ground all right we can't manifest we can't go forward when we're working with healing energy that's unresolved working with anger or working with things that get in our way we really can't manifest because that's the vibration that takes over all right so where can you let go a beautiful card for the retrograde energy where can you heal a little bit more we all have healing that we may need to do all right and the third card 
is the hermit card love this card but it was upside down when i looked at it so this is all about shining your inner light all right don't get caught in everybody else's energy this week really important in the retrograde go within you hey patrick good to see you i know i'm early right don't get caught in the the crazy drama in the world pull in remember you have your own light to shine and this is a good time to renew that energy what is your light what is your radiance that's what you want to shine all right and that's how we do that especially during the retrograde all right so remember when you get caught up in like the chaos the confusion the the overreacting all right all right ground your energy i know patrick i got confused with my time zone i'm in north charlotte north carolina thinking forward not back who knows that's the retrograde energy right all right so here we go to review this is universal for all of us as tall as you stand go deep in your roots all right deepen your roots this is going to help you all week long i promise you deepen your roots release that energy like we did in the exercise release the emotional energy go into the earth energy can never be transformed oh i mean never be destroyed only transformed all right if you picked card one that's the father of swords it was reversed that's a lot of energy underneath that's a lot of that pickiness that mind energy and that is not what we need this week all right so remember don't let that get in your way don't let that pickiness of the earth all right don't be super critical it's a time to renew review and especially this card do a little healing all right it is the pentacles it's not the emotional so that's a grounding energy all right so when you start to release some of that excess emotional energy or that excess healing that you need to do sorry then you can ground with mother earth again all right so one of the ways that i do this for me is like all right i had a little bit of anger that i've been working and clearing out i need to clear this out so i can manifest that's what pentacles is about clear it out release that excess energy that's not serving you so that you can be bringing in that abundant energy of the universe and then the third card is all about the hermit going in within you all right and shining that light that is all about you all right don't get caught it was reversed so don't get caught it's a great warning and everybody else's drama come back into your inner guidance come back into the glow of who you are really important that we do that this week definitely yes i'm on location beautiful background back here that's why i'm on early today we start up again biz club a great group of people here in charlotte all right so any questions let me know if you want me to pick a card for you let me know i have a few more minutes i do want to say i've got another great episode coming up on the empowered spirit show drops on wednesday really great woman shira shira adler from new york she has a brand new book out abc's of cbd we're continuing our summer series she's so fun she's a great voice she has a lot to say about what's going on and really gives us a lot more information so check that out that will drop on wednesday last week we got into a little bit more about the cbds as well melissa beasley talking about women entrepreneurs also social anxiety and how the oils can help you to open up into new aspects of your life so yeah let me know all right patrick i will draw a card for you here we go all right we got the empress card but it was upside down i've got a lot of reverse cards which is perfect for the retrograde energy all right so if we looked at this card in its normal essence this card is all about connecting to that feminine energy all right look at the glow around the tree so be strong in your energy it's a great time to really access that other side that yen energy of who you are all right it's a really important that align with the energy of that feminine part the yen part of who you are so that again that masculine energy is what's going to get you in trouble so to speak this week because that reacting energy that forward energy the mars energy reminds me of the mars energy you could see mars last night in the sky we could see venus last night in the sky so don't overreact calm down find the opposite of where you would normally be like think before you speak and really kind of come into what is that softer part what is that more yen part and be that because it can also be very strong even though it may not be the outward appearance come into that part of who you are with that energy as well clean up your aura i love it shine that part out from the inside out be strong in what it is that you do does that make sense daniel i hope that makes sense hey cat monster australia i've been loving following you as well all right so this is the daughter of wands i love this card this is all about that infinite potential all right sometimes in the retrograde it kind of becomes hard to um it kind of becomes hard to think we can manifest but this is still that you can tap into infinite potential look at the growth look at that infinite potential wands is about passions and desires so we're you're in winter we're in summer but still you can look into that infinite potentials through your dreams all right just because it's retrograde doesn't mean you can't still put out that infinite 
opportunities that you have and for you, all right? I love this. The daughter is a young energy, so yes. I think I got choked up about this one last week around my birthday, all right? This one is a great card to remind you of that innocence of life and that you can definitely bring in that infinite potential of who you are, all right? So yes, even though we do have retrograde energy, even though that energy is out there, you still can work to work with your dreams to renew, review, redo, recycle. I think I find for myself that it's a great time to clean up my act, clean up my desk, clean up my files, clean up my computer, clean up those kind of things so we can use the time instead of being caught in a struggle. We don't have to let the retrogrades get to us. We just use the energy in a different way. All right, so all the cards today are really pointing to some extra healing, shining your own light, digging deep into the roots of the earth. Let Mother Earth support you in what you do, all right? And don't get caught in the pickiness of the mind, all right? Really resonates, excellent. Don't get caught in that pickiness of the mind. We really don't want to, all right? I know I am on early. I've got a, a, a mastermind today that I'm in and we start early and I mess up the time zones. At any rate, hey, Becca, at any rate, take this energy out into the world Remember to ground your energy. Tap into that. I love that card for Patrick. Tap into that feminine aspect of the Empress. The Empress knows, all right? You know, but you have to go inside to find it, all right? Shine your light. Be strong. Slow down. Really slow down this week because, yes, you're going to have difficulties. I was trying to hurry and get my computer on. My computer wouldn't start. That's another thing that could go wrong. It's like, all right, chill. Really chill. It's a great opportunity to enjoy the summer a little bit more, or in Australia there, the winter a little bit more before we all get so busy. I think the retrograde can help us do this. We go right into August with this energy. So go out there tonight. You still got the full moon. All right, then we start releasing. Set your intentions, charge those crystals. All right, let them help you as well. Be strong in your energy. Reach out if you need some help. All right, I have some availability in my Empowered Spirit program. Reach out if you need some help. You don't have to do this alone. Get the guidance you need. Get the help that you need. So take a nice deep inhale as we go to close. And just take this energy out into the world. Be strong in who you are. Shine your light. Thank you again for joining me. Come on over and check out Howard Spirit Program. Get a free guide on how to set up your own spiritual practice on my website, tarianhyman.com. To your spirit. Namaste.